welcome to this ground force design hub tutorial. In this session we're going to look briefly at inserting and moving Revit family components. So on my screen you can see I have a design that shows an AutoCAD design as a reference so it's actually linked uh, into my model and you see the requirement for an MP125 type 5 component. So by default this strut if you import it from the design hub at gftech.co.uk will be set to just over eight and a half meters but in this design, I need one at 9.143 meters. So I'm going to import this into my model. So I'm going to go to Insert, Load Family. Just wait a little second for the dialog box to open. Now for ease, I've placed this component on my desktop, but obviously it would be wherever you saved it already. So I'm going to select that, Open. So it's been imported and stored in the back of the program in the background. So if you want to insert that, you go to insert a component. So by default, the component is attached to the cursor. Uh, the one that is attached is the, is the last one that's been imported. So if you go here, you can check and see it's the MP125 type 5. If you if you press to select this button, you can see all the ones that are currently available, which have been imported before. I've got various other ground force components and standard Revit components. But we're going to use the uh, the one that we need to. So I've uh, I've set it up so that it drops it in. The insertion point is set there. Now, by default, it will stay sticking to the cursor as if you want to add another component. So to cancel that, just press Escape twice, and then go back and select the component that you want to rotate. Choose the place you want to rotate from. So scroll in. It's the same as the insertion point. The axes and spin it around. There you go, you can see it's incorrect. So, as I said before, uh, when you import it, by default, this is slightly short of what, what we require. It's only 8.5 meters. So, to adjust that, I'm going to go into the edit type. So, the ground force components are set up with length parameters, so they're fully parametric. So in here you can see set eight and a half meters. So I'm going to change that to the length that I need. So 9.143 and OK. And you can see it's automatically adjusted. Another thing that I'm going to change is that this is on the correct level, level zero, but I know the offset offset that I need is four meters. So I'm going to apply that. So when I change to the 3D view, we can see there that it's actually set for the correct level. 